Let's talk about this for a second. So this is another transunion, transunion uh, play. Risk real so, estate. Ooh, real estate secured line of credit too for my so, real estate investors. All right, l- let's talk about this. Let's talk about this, right? Mm-hmm. So um, let's talk about the, the real estate line of credit, right? For those real estate investors, right? Yes. One of the challenges with getting like, let, let's say first, because because I try to do this um, myself, right? With Truist, right? I try to get a secured line of credit using non-owner occupied real estate, right? Mm-hmm. But Truist won't do it for a res if it's zoned residential you can't collateralize it for secured line of credit it has to be zoned commercial okay right to to be able to collateralize it so the problem is let's say for those who are investing in short term rentals long term rentals airbnbs people who are buying buying these and renting them out and you have equity locked up in it so instead of doing a cash out refinance you can go to a fulton bank because with Fulton Bank, with their real estate secured line of credit, they'll give you up to 70%, 70% loan to value. Wow. So let's say you own the property outright, just il- illustration purposes, you yeah. know. Own it outright. It's a hundred, it's worth it. Uh, you, you do have to get a third party appraisal, right? You do have to get a third party appraisal, which takes a little bit of time. Um, but they'll give you sev- up to 70% loan to value on a residential property business line uh, and, and this isn't going to show up on your personal credit it's not a it's not a, it's like a ghost line. line it's like a ghost line so you can max it out and it's not going to go against your utilization this is specifically for businesses oh you know man, small dude. business real estate secure not a not a HELOC. it's not a HELOC. right that's what pe- some people get it confused it's not a home equity line of credit it's a real estate secure line of credit. So you're using non-owner occupied investment real estate oh. as collateral for a secure line of credit. Okay. Now that's, the difference that's a game changer, bro. That's it, that's a game changer. And I, I spoke with I spoke with the the underwriter about this because this is rare. This is rare. I I I tried to do this at a couple of true, I tried to do it at Truist, a couple other ones. They were like, nope, it has to be a, a commercial. If it's a bit, if it's a, if you want to collateralize it under the business, secure business line of credit, it has to be zoned commercial. It can't be zoned residential. So that's a game changer. And I'll tell you this mm-hmm. West Banco has the same thing for, for non occup non owner occupied investment real estate that's titled under your business. They'll do it as well. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. So Fulton Bank is, um, so let's go to their unsecured line of credit. So uh, they have a streamlined application. I mean, literally, bro, like you you fill this out. It, it, it takes about, I mean, they have the DocuSign. Like it's, <laughs> I'm go. not going to go. It, it's very basic, very basic. And they'll reach out. I mean, I think they're flooded right now. But, um, you Is know, it stated they're, income? <laughs> Is it stated income? Um, no. So, so. I had to provide a schedule of, I'll tell you, tell you what I had to do. I had to do a schedule of business debt. Mm -hmm. Let me write this out. So you guys have this play. Mm -hmm. Thank you plug. He's in his bag, bro. He's lighting it up. He's like, man, he's lighting it up. All right. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to hear it. Let me go to a different page. That's why I'm not taking y'all's questions. I'm trying to get all the meat in this damn call for y'all. All right, so it's um tr- trend um oops. here I'm just gonna write it all in one uh tr- uh transunion H H P okay all right y'all got that yep um so 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 here's the thing I apply for them uh back in March right mm-hmm. so I I didn't have my taxes my 2022 taxes ready right so right. if l- l- because I, I know so, sometimes it takes a while. People file extensions. If you filed an extension, so 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 here's the thing: they're, they're going to ask you for one year tax returns. Yep. Or most recent tax return. Mm-hmm. Uh, schedule of business debt. They give you the form to fill out. Mm. Um, the underwriter was kind of picky with me for whatever reason. I don't know, but I also had to give them a W two. Wow, uh, a, a year in a, a 2021 uh, year end um, W two. 
So this is a personal guarantee. I think the reason why they asked me that is because in 2021, that's when I quit my other corporate job. Mm -hmm. And so like, um, I guess because I wasn't working there anymore, I, I don't know. They just wanted to see it. They may, I'll put an asterisk here. I feel like they were just combing a little bit deeper for whatever reason. I don't know. But um, so here are the data points, TransUnion Hardpool. They're going to ask for your tax return. So here's the thing. If you file an extension for 2022, you can go based off your 2021. Hmm. If you didn't file a, an extension, they're going to ask for your 2022. Okay. In a schedule of business debt. Okay. So that's that's the only thing. And what do um, they give up to? What do they give up to on that? On the I believe for the streamlined, well, this is supposed to be streamlined. Um, I believe it's 50K. Okay, cool. I believe it's 50K. Cool. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty, pretty easy. You do have to open up a checking account with them once you um the, the payments have to come from their checking account. Well, what's up with Cafe Pacific, man? What you got out here in Nevada, man? What you got out here in Nevada? Oh, man, Nevada. All right, all right. Let, let's go over this. Let's go over this. I got I got to put this is a personal play. Okay, okay. Personal, personal play. So, Any personal plays is like a stated income, no doc, super easy to get line of credit. That's cool. All right, look, look, this, this, is, this, is, this is random. This is, this is hella random. Um, so, so this is, um, has anyone ever heard of the, the imprint app? No. All right. So basically imprint app. this is kind of like, uh, this is kind of like, oh, like what you showed us the other day with the interchange fees. No, 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 no. This oh. is kind of, oh, they, they basically do co co branded cards, but they they have a couple credit cards, right? So they have the the Westgate Resort Westgate Resorts. So this is kind of like an Apple Card type of thing where you 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 download the app. So so anyone anyone watching this, you you could li literally do do this, right? So let's type this in Westgate Westgate. So so pretty much you can uh, get pre approved. They'll tell you the limit. They'll tell you the limit. And if you want to accept it, you can. And if you don't want to accept it, you don't have to. But you have to apply through the app. You can't apply on the website. So for anyone, um, and, and mind you, this isn't like a, you know, the, the credit card is just, uh, you know, but it's one where you can then freeze your, your transunion after you get the offer and then uh, accept it. So like, 